other central banks out there, including in the West, want to see prices that are stable and or rising. But you have situations with deflation and, and certainly, you know, one of the things is like oil, for example. I mean, uh, we'll talk about this in a separate issue. But the bottom line is, is that when you're having some of these underlying problems occurring and you're having all this competition with currencies out there and how a lot of these countries are trying to mitigate some of the conditions in their countries, they resort to what many bank, uh, central bank authorities do, which is to start producing, you know, a, a you know currencies in abundance. That's the easy thing to do. Just right. print up another trillion yen or another trillion euros or mm -hmm. whatever, and you start to see more of this come back and this cracks in the system. Right. So uh, I, I think this is going to this is the currency crisis that we're talking about. You know that, that we've been warning about in recent years. You know they're starting to come up. The cracks in the system are occurring. You know, uh, uh, this is where investors have to be uh, more safe and make sure that they're reviewing their portfolios for what is exposed to a potential crisis in, say, Japan, you know, mm -hmm. or in, in Russia, for example. And who knows where else it's going to unfold. I think that's one of the truisms of uh, investing in precious metals. Uh, you may feel that uh, the price has gone down, uh, but when you compare that against the value of the dollar, which now is at 4% of what it used to be worth. Um, you can see that the uh, Fed has not done a really stellar job of maintaining the value of the dollar. And so many other central banks out there in terms of the value of their currencies. You know, when, uh, when you have the situation that you're having right now, uh, the point is, how are you mitigating or diversifying yourself away from some of these risks? And in many cases, you know, I like the way some people say that, uh, you know, a precious metal, you know, uh, when you're comparing it to a currency crisis, you don't even really call it a, an investment. You, 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 you have something in your possession that won't go to zero, unlike some, con some currencies, you know, are unfolding in terms of their crises. So, um, uh, so the point is, what's the point of all this? Diversifying yourself. You know, what will happen if uh, some of these things say catching up uh, with, the, uh, with the U.S. dollar? We've had the benefit for decades that the U.S. dollar was the, the world's reserve currency. But now you're having it where, you know, there's a lot of hostility toward the dollar in right. many quarters of the world, ranging from uh, China to uh, Russia to the Middle East. And will that have an impact? Because, you know, uh, it will obviously oversupplying such, a, such an entity. You're going to come down to having some kind of currency crisis, and that's going to have a ripple effect to what? Bonds, stocks, and whatever else there is. So uh, precious metals as a physical asset is a form of diversification. Not that you have 100% in it, you know what I mean? But a certain percentage, you talk to your financial advisors about what is a, an appropriate amount, but that'll definitely uh, help uh, mitigate any issues you may have with currencies crisis, which are now starting to unfold. And I think, you know, as we've uh, talked about on other issues about uh, counterparty risk. The dollar bill is a big counterparty risk because when you have uh, precious metals in your portfolio, there is a value to that uh, metal that uh, basically is enduring. It's not going to change on the dime. Uh, whereas with a currency, as we've seen with uh, taking the dollar off the gold standard, uh, the government by a decree can change the value of what you have. Exactly. So again, more to watch out for. I think it's, uh, 2015 will be more than uh, a little bit interesting in terms of what we're going to be expecting and how these things are going to impact our portfolios and our livelihoods actually. So uh, stay well, tuned for that. Thank you for being with us today at PreciousMetalsInvesting.com. My guest has been Paul Majenovic author of Precious Metals Investing for Dummies. He also has his own website, ravingcapitalist.com, so make sure you visit that site also. Thank you. See you next time.